This is Artist Wode House. I had the great good fortune to meet with Jerry Barton, who is uh, an American living here in uh, Vienna. And he has worked for the UN, but avocationally. He is a, a, a part-time organist, and he has been playing on this magnificent Katikivitz, and he'll get the right pronunciation, uh, that is in a Methodist church in the working district, in one of the working districts of uh, Vienna, and it's Methodist church, as I said, modernist interior. And I've asked Jerry to talk about basically some of the characteristic features of the organ as he's experienced it playing for Sunday services. Okay. Thank you very much, Artis. Uh, this Kodikiewicz is one that was manufactured in 1901 for a private household. Uh, it is one of very few that combines pipes with harmonium. And the top manual here is totally pipes. <laughs> And the second and third are the harmonium. Uh, this went through, this organ itself went through many different iterations. Uh, once the owner had to leave in 1938, uh, it was unplayable for many years and was then reconstructed. Uh, originally, there was a glass plate in front of the pipes. Uh, now there's not. Uh, the bellows still works. It has the full pedal horn. And occasionally, some of the stops do cipher by themselves. Uh, but it seems to be in pretty good mood today. Um, yeah. So, so... I guess then the the red stops control which keyboard? The red stops control the middle keyboard, this keyboard number two. But I've got it coupled at the moment. Let's turn the couple off. Okay, and the white controls the lower keyboard. White controls the lower stops to the white keyboard than I thought. So there's a prolongement by the way that this instrument has. And on the white, you've got Butz, Vox, Celeste, Viola. Then what happens? I Dolce, Bourbon, yeah. Cor Anglaise. Let me try to get the other side because people might yeah. be interested in what the stops mm -hmm. are for the lower, for the harmonium stops. Okay, this is the upper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there's uh, what, now, what is Gedecht, number 14? What does that do? Do you know? It's essentially the flute. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see it's blue. I thought it was yeah. white. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, and then the upper, uh, the, the red keyboard has these stops. So let's see, and the treble's got uh, five, uh, what is it, opois? Oh, it says prolongement? What? Wow. Aeolian baritone. <laughs> and je deuce. The long, I wonder what that means. Can the harmonium, um, the harmonium, actually, you have a harmonium prolonged amount. Yeah. But it seems, there seems to be more to it than that. Which I don't understand. Well, this will give the experts quite an idea of what's what on this instrument. All right, so continuing, yes. Okay. Um, normally for church services, I will use the upper manual. And if I want something a little bit louder, then I'll couple down mm -hmm. and pedal so. <laughs>
has tremendous power. It has, yeah. Yeah. And I cannot really imagine what it was like in a private home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it can fill the congregational area here, mm -hmm. fill yeah. the sanctuary. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I think this is good. And, and sometimes during communion or when there's an interlude for reflection, then I'll just use the flute. <laughs> bellows oh, okay. on the bottom two in addition to everything else so Cypher. <laughs>